Good evening, everyone. Happy Saturday night. Hope you're doing well out there. Welcome to the stream. It's me, BMX Legend, Decap Jedi, aka Jess. So glad you could be here for what's going to be, I'm sure, an upbeat, cheerful, you know, just good time all around season finale for Telltale Games, The Walking Dead, season one. We've worked our way up to this point. Things have gotten a little hairy for Lee and Clementine and the rest of the survivors. There aren't as many survivors as they used to be. They seem to be dropping like flies. <laughs> hey, Nick, good to see you. Um, and, of course, at the end of the last episode, Lee was bitten by a zombie because he got careless for one second, which is what happens in the zombie apocalypse. So now Lee has no time left, which I believe is the name of this episode. And we are trying to figure out what has happened to Clementine, who has disappeared. We've talked to her on her walkie-talkie, and someone has kidnapped her. And Lee only has so long to recover her before the zombie virus kicks in. And I don't see things ending well. Um, I think it's going to be a rough episode for our good friend Lee. So we'll see how this turns out. I hope everybody's well out there. Good to see you, Nick. Glad you could join me. We will go ahead and get this show rolling. All right. Game, do you want to cooperate tonight? I don't like you, game, and you don't like me, but we're in this together. All right. We have to make it to the end now. We're so close. So close. I hope this doesn't crap out on me like Gabriel Knight 3 did earlier this week and just dump me out to the prompt with, with only seconds of the game left. All right. Here we go. Uh oh, we yeah, got big spoiler alert. Lee got bit at the very last second, and I had the choice whether or not to keep it secret from the group. Initially, I hid it, but upon uh, upon further reflection, I told them, and they were sympathetic. Surprisingly, not like inclined to immediately kill me. So I guess that's a good thing. But yeah, Lee's already starting to have some of those forlorn looks of someone who's been bitten by a zombie for whom only bad things await. So. It's only going to go downhill from here. Let's jump right in. Previously on The Walking Dead. I said previously on The Walking Dead. Previously on The Walking Dead. There we go. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. Here, you can have some too. Mm. I think we should look for your parents. They always stay in the same place when they go there. The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? We gotta go! <laughs> oh, did this horde follow us to Savannah? Why? Clementine? Clementine! Clementine's gone. Wherever she is, I have to find her. I don't know how much time I've got. I'm gonna need your help to find her. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. And then we'll what shoot you in the time gaps. If I wasn't there for you now. Clementine. Oh, uh, this evil person with the walkie-talkie is very good. All right. I will try to remember that. There's our zombie train. I miss our good old train days before Chuck the Hobo Bernie, got eaten. Get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Clementine, are, are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch. Cody. Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. What do you Ruta want Vega. From me? Whatever it is, I'll do it. You can let her go. I want you to never hurt anybody again. This isn't a kidnapping, Lee. 
is an intervention. Then what is it? A rescue. Oh. <laughs> Maybe we're the Walking Dead. Just hold on. Don't worry, pal. We'll get her back. <laughs> well, me doesn't look so great. Kind of hunched over. How's that feeling? It doesn't matter. It is what it is. We don't have much time. Oof. We're about to have a lot less. We'll all make sure nothing gets in. You're still the smartest fucker out of all of us. Try to find <laughs> another way out of here. Uh oh. Gate time. Maybe we'll hide in the cabinets? No secret tunnels there. Stirrups? What are those things? Ooh, rib spreader. Gross. It's like a color jack. I don't want to imagine this being used on a body. Yoink. Alright, look out, ribs. We'll hit up a Chili's later. <laughs> Spread out some ribs. Hmm, let's weigh some things. This is a good <laughs> yeah, now that I was kind of hoping they dug some secret tunnels or something. Yeah, me too, Kenny. Yeah, now that September's over and I can't talk about five dollar footlongs anymore, it's probably good that we move on to baby back rib jokes. I should keep looking Very at timely. Out. Yeah, get to it. Is it just like up these stairs? Is there are those stairs? What's going on over here? What's the situation? A ramp? Oh, so there's a door. Is that going to be the secret? Is that going to be the puzzle? You want to get out of here, you have to open the door. As always, Telltale's commitment to sticking to the puzzle design to the end is really strong. Mm. It looks like it needs to be spread apart. It's an elephant? I can't get my hands in between the doors. Hmm, if only we had some sort of spreading device. I'll have these doors open in two seconds. Wow, look at that. Uh oh. Lee's zombieism is getting worse. Be great if that was the end of the season. It's like, well, you got bit. What did you expect from us? If you like, shit, this is bad. Fuck. I tried to drop a cinder block on my head, Kenny. Okay. This has to be done. Sorry, pal. I gotta do it. Uh, don't kill me. Stop. He's awake. He's still bitten. So? This is about trying to save him. At the very least, buy him some time. By chopping his arm off. Do we know it works? We don't know anything. It hurt. We know there's going to be a lot of blood. I mean, it could literally hurt. There's going to be a shitload of blood. What if he dies? Then the rest of us go after Clementine and get the hell out of Savannah. Let's do it. Maybe it'll work. <laughs> it's a big risk. I'm all in. Yeah. We're down here without a lot of options. I want to see if the game will let me do this. This is going to hurt. Cut it off. Seriously. Yeah. So close your eyes if you're sensitive to <laughs> the arm amputation. I'm 
glad we're getting some like torture porn now. It was what, easier when I thought he was out. What this game needed. Oh Jesus! Fine. I'll go as fast as I can. <laughs> Reassuring. If I don't live through this, I need you to know you. <laughs> Try to stay still! I know! Uh-oh. What was the warning, NBA Dag? I missed it. Hey, Tom, good to see you. Yeah, I'm surprised yeah. they let me go through with it. It felt like one of those telltale the false choices. Let's go. I'll bring up the rear. I don't want to bleed on anyone. You ain't got time to bleed. You ain't got time to bleed. Jeez. We're going to have to go as quiet as possible and see if we can make it to an empty floor or even the roof. You think it's possible for you? Yeah. Get going. I bet we're still turning no matter what. I bet that has to be how it ends, right? You okay down there? Remember, quiet. It's no big deal. Another arm would just get in the way. Jesus Christ, Lee. He scared the designers. They freaked him out there for a second. <laughs> I like the jump scare with the designer credit. Watch out! Damn. That was fucking close. Everything okay up there? Oh, just fucking peachy. <laughs> Just think, Lee, that'll be you soon. I wonder if zombies are just as prone to eat someone who's already been bitten. I guess they are in every movie. They always are eating people who've been bitten when they heroically sacrifice themselves for the group. No held? Were they getting ready to write no held and they didn't have enough paint? Yep, no held hospital. No held hospital. Remember They're probably around that responsible for this. Those Crawford bastards did one thing right, I guess. There must be thousands of them. They didn't follow us here, did they? It sure seems like it. That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. Those are making zombies. I'd recognize them anywhere. Wasn't exactly discreet. Clementine's out there somewhere. Gobbled up in all of that. We'll get to her, Lee. We'll do whatever we have to. Look. Let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? Good. Lee's I, already turning into a zombie, saying things like gobbled up. What just happened to Lee? He lost a lot of blood down there. If you find yourself getting winded, or worse, you gotta let us know. And it wasn't my favorite hand anyway. Well, you haven't lost your spirit. <laughs> Seriously, though. Don't treat me any different. I got one goal, you hear me? 
Yeah, we do. Now what? We get down and we find a little girl out there. Right, pal? Now, let's get our bearings. Hmm. We'll judge by the slightly smushed sun. Okay, this is going great. We're doing well. It's an extension ladder. If it's a map puzzle, I'm out of here. April Night 3 ruined those forever. Luke Lee just moonwalking everywhere. He or she walked away from whatever accident happened. And that doesn't really mean much. Mm, classic roof painting accident. How tragic. Some poor bastard took a spill. Yeah, looks like whoever was up here painting that sign went ass over tea kettle. What a stupid way to die in the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> I'm sorry, but if riding your dramatic no help sign, <laughs> you fall off a ladder. Oh, Come on. Must have run out of doctors. That looks like Crawford Square over there. Fuck that place. Yeah. Did fix up our boat, though. We get Clementine and get right back. Make sure she wears her life jacket, okay? Something tells me she's not going to want to. Look at Horizon and reflect on things. That looks like Crawford Square. Oh, we there. already did this, huh? Alrighty. Here's a way down. Yeah, if half the dead population of Georgia wouldn't wander in the streets down there. I like how much flannel there is in uh, the zombie population here. It leads down to the street. It's more flannel than you would expect. Especially in Georgia. Where it's just miserably hot and humid year round. Having spent time in Savannah and coastal Georgia in general, I can say this game is pretty unrealistic because all the characters would constantly be saying things like, Ugh, the zombie apocalypse is terrible, but God... It's so hot out here today. Like, rotten flesh on a, you know, 400% humidity day. That's going to be a miserable experience. What's up over here? Hey, Slash Space. Welcome. Tower. That's what's up. Hmm. Yeah. How are you doing? That could help. You're just in time for The Walking Dead season it's finale. Bell Tower. Like the doing great. Thank you. Draw the walkers around the city. No way. It's higher than this room, for starters. Oh, did you finish all the other seasons? The whole bit? All the spinoffs and everything else? Oh, wow, that's awesome. This is my first time playing. I played the first episode the ages ago. The street from the mansion. River Street should be just beyond that. We need to head back that way. We'll stop off at the mansion, like you said. And make sure we didn't overlook anything. Yeah. I might have a way mm -hmm. to clear us a path. I can make it to that bell tower. I can draw mm. the walkers down to that side of the hospital. Maybe lean a ladder over Thousands there. Thousands of them. That'll thin out the streets between here, the mansion, and River Street. Even if it's just for a few minutes. I've really been enjoying it so far. It's been a lot of fun. I like Telltale's games. I played some of the later ones. I really love the Batman series. They may be my favorite Telltale games I've played so far. And I've been meaning to get back to this one forever. So this has Whoa, been a good experience. You need some help with that? I got it. Okay. Yeah, I was really pleasantly surprised by Batman Telltale. I feel like reviewers had stopped giving Telltale games... A fair oh, do. I think they shit. decided they were all too similar and reviews had suffered as a result. The I think Telltale's Batman is wonderful. Yeah. It's a super Buy good some Batman. Time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You think you should be the one to go? My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose 
That's Kenny. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? So we're agreed then. Yeah, absolutely. When the story's clicking for these games, uh, they're hard to beat. I really love Tales from the Borderlands. I thought it was fantastic. I haven't played uh, the Game of Thrones series yet or Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, those are two that I still need to eventually take for a spin, but I'll eventually work my way around to all the Walking Deads, I'm sure. Why the hell are we letting the one-armed guy do all the high-risk maneuvers? Because the one-armed guy insists. Now shut up about it. That thing looks a little <laughs> rickety. Maybe keep that shit to yourself next time. Yep. I'll have to take a break and emotionally recover from this game. Yeah, the Batman game really pleasantly surprised me. I'm a I'm a comic book nerd, or at least I have been at points in my life. And uh oh. oh Sorry, Razor Ramon, you gotta get to the top. No, no! Ah! Sorry. <laughs> No, you know, I'm a, I'm a Batman nerd, and uh, the, uh, I was sure there was no way to have any sort of fresh take on Batman, and I thought the Telltale series did a pretty good job with it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I was I was smack-talking about the ladder the accident earlier. High -risk maneuvers. <laughs> now I'm the one who looks like guy cool. insists. Now shut up about it. That thing looks a little rickety. Maybe keep that shit to yourself next time. Yep. You have to admit, that was a pretty great death scene. <laughs> okay, Lee. What you got? W, 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 W. Keep W-ing. Keep W-ing. All right. Got him. Holy shit, man! Are you okay? Yeah. I'm fine. I was wishing I had my other hand. No shit! Try to find another way out of there? <laughs> no shit. Hmm. Well, there's a hatch. That seems promising. Ding dong, it's me, Lee. Zombies. Let's see what you got. They're coming this way. Tons of them. Jesus. Now get back here. Looks like I'm going to have to jump. Just do that thing where you roll at the end of the jump, Lee. You'll be fine. I think I have to jump. There's no way back. You can make it. It ain't that far. I'm so fucked. Use your zombie powers. <laughs> Kenny, it's really that far. I think you just want to see me beef it. Oh no, it's a quick time. And nobody rush over to help me up. I'll be fine, I'm sure. Good goddamn leap, pal. Let's get the hell off this roof. Hmm. So that hatch was a red herring, eh? All right. Well, we did it. It was easier than it looked. Hey, there's that doghouse from last. <laughs> Lee's just over all this. Yeah, I think I'll finish t the whole episode tonight. It's my goal. What the fuck? Come on, just come the fuck on! Well, we're not coming back here after we find Clem. Who? Fuck. How could this happen? It's the guy on the radio, the one that's got Clem. They're gone. Holy shit, they're gone. Relax. Hey, guys. No, it wasn't the guy on the radio. It, it was, was Vernon. Vernon. No fucking way! The invalids? Their actions uh, contradict your characterization, but, yeah. Thank you, Amaze. He's right. They're not invalids. They're just people. People who've been dealing with shitty situations even longer than we have. 
No wonder they got the jump on us. I don't give a fuck if their Make-A-Wish was a fucking boat ride. When I find them, I'm gonna rip their throats out. I can't believe they did this to us. It's sick. It really is. They use your goddamn sympathy for sick folks and then stab us right in the back. They didn't use shit. They did what anybody would have done. They've been living like ghosts forever and they were fed up. That's it. Hey, Ion Mesh. Welcome to the stream. He says he feels howdy, bad howdy. about leaving Clementine behind. But the boat was an opportunity they couldn't pass up. Vernon probably planned this out the second he laid eyes on that boat. They fucked us! Thanks for the follow, Slash Space. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Welcome to the squad. Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. Hey, and thank you for the support. This is not happening. Everybody's Too kind. Thank so you. Fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. I don't want to go back out there again. Then don't. Go your own way. You're every man for himself until you and your boyfriend actually need something. You wouldn't have had a boat to lose without us. So shove it, okay? Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean immediately. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. We can do this in the yard. All right. Boy, Kenny has heart set on that boat. I feel sorry for him. What do you think, Lee? What do we do now? If I had a margarita built well, blender you two ready are just to go. Look out for number one and number two. You know yourself. That wasn't the last boat in America. The <laughs> idea was sound before, and it's sound now. The mainland is done. And we have no idea what else is out there. I don't want to get us all killed on some impossible mission. It'll be better than getting eaten alone. Out there. At least Lee's thinking. You're goddamn right. We get another boat. But not here. Aren't we all missing the point right now? Clementine is the goal. That's it. Damn right. <laughs> but Clementine oh, shit. Here they may have In the house. know where the boat is. No, that doesn't make sense. Those jerks Vernon and friends. They shouldn't be it. able to get into the backyard, right? Not. We can secure this place. Krista. Search the house for weapons. On it. Krista will remember Kenny. that. Go upstairs. Secure whatever you can and make sure we're alone. Done. Omi. What is it? Front doors. Uh oh. Ah. Oh no. <laughs> Ooh, free Wait, hand. Help! Cut their fucking arms off. There's got to be a knife or something in there. Hurry! Duh. Ah, cleaver. Take their goddamn arms off. All right. Chop, chop. Lee's butcher shop. Now what? Get ready to fight. This place seems dirty to me. <clears throat> I think we're fine. How would you ever say that in a zombie scenario? Sturdy my ass! Get upstairs! Go! Sturdy my ass, as they say. Oh no, Bree. Not Bree. What are the odds we'd know one of the zombies? Guys, help me with this! <laughs> Everyone e. get to the end of the hallway. This will slow him down. We get to the end of the hallway and take a fucking stand. Uh -oh. Can't let ourselves get trapped. Let's get as many as we can. When we see an opening, we go for it. How many bullets y'all have? Three. Five. Four. Y'all know where to aim. Alright, shooting gallery time. Okay. Kaboom. Oh, 
we fell out our targets. Oh, I'm out of bullets. That's not good. Me too. Fuck. Where do we go? There's no goddamn opening. Up. Yes, keep going up. Go. <laughs> I've never seen an attic open so dramatically. That's wonderful. Whoop. That could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Thanks, keep Kenny. Moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep, keep me moving. in your thoughts. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Where well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent the Third, Industrial... Oh, Mead? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. Oh, man. I'd be feeling that I'm during sorry. the zombie apocalypse. So, no ideas then. There's got to be another way. Check the floor for any other access, a vent, anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. <coughs> hey, you're not looking great, and you're warm. I'm okay. Don't. Oh no. I'm okay. I'm really parents. No. What did that mean? She's at the hotel where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her yet. Yeah. Yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Stop it. We can't panic. Do you think that worked? I don't know. I hope so. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, oh, no. look. We could be an looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. He looks fine to me. I think it'd be best if we just worried about getting to Clem right now. We're not going to do her any good if you've attacked us. That isn't going to happen. How do you know that? Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. My arm is not the issue. I'm not the problem. The 500 walkers in the house, and no door in this room are the goddamn problem. Yeah. It may be at the moment, but who's to say when it becomes an issue? At that point, there may not be any time left to deal with it. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me. We will get Clementine back, with or without you. Because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. Then kill me, you son of a bitch, okay? Don't even fucking hesitate! I will! That was dramatic. You ruined that dude's face. Shut up, sweetie. Look. <laughs> it's corroded to hell. How fortuitous. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. I'll be damned. We're not lifers on Alcatraz here. We can't spend the next three months digging through a wall. If the rest is as dilapidated as this, we might not have to. <laughs> Let's see. One of those fancy mansions that touches the mansion next door. Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. I wasn't gonna hurt you. Sure, pal. I know. Things aren't looking great for Lee. I'm glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well, 
He probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us. Which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. You're, you'd be a foot taller. I was. <laughs> the fucking thing. It happens. Do you so think fast. this is insult sword fighting? Never almost hit someone in a crosswalk. Almost. His license was suspended. Twice. Just wham. Thing was on me. Never saw it. Like someone in your blind spot. It's so weird. I keep doing a double take on your arm, expecting it to be there. I'm hoping whatever's in there bite is gone too. What do you think the odds are of that? I don't know. I know everyone's wondering. Even if it just slows down the process, I'd be happy. You don't mean that. So when we get this guy, what do you think? We just get plenty of time. That's the focus. Despite how I feel, I, I, I can't let vengeance be the thing. Yeah. Sure. But if it's not that easy... We'll do whatever it takes. And, you know, whatever happens to you, uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I was bitten, Krista. You cut it off. What good is it to plan around that working? What good is it for you to give up? I haven't given up. Find her a family, okay? Somewhere she'll be safe. Don't do this. I want you to hear me. <laughs> I hear you. Yeah, I'm not giving Clem to Kenny. Kenny has a short temper. We could look after her. As long as she has a family. You hear me? Yeah. Of course. All right. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, hun. You can hop in after me. <laughs> Gotta love a mead. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. Uh, that, uh, feeling any better? Still feels pretty recently chopped. <laughs> so no, Kenny feels about as uh, good as you'd expect. I mean, do you think it worked? Did it did it help at all? I feel like a man who got bitten. Take that for what it's worth. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just <laughs> fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would've. Wonder how this would have played out right now if I hadn't told them. How are you? Like what this conversation would be. I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. It'll be all right, kid. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. I may have to watch a long play at some point where people don't tell. That Lee's been this bitten. Can I tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. Before y'all, we had this woman, Lily, with us. Lord knows where she is now. Anyway, we had to make some tough calls with her dad. She came between Lee and I pretty good. And I spent a lot of nights hating this guy's guts. I'm sorry for hurting you in any way, Kitty. It's impossible to go through life without causing some sort of pain. But sometimes I can't help but wonder if I could have caused a little less. You and me both, Doc. Well, cheers. Oh, he's gonna drink after a zombie bat victim. What if it's in his saliva? You big dummy. I'm through. All right. No walkers. Things are looking up. Are these mansions duplexes? What's even going on here? Is that how Savannah works? Keep a goddamn eye out.
This place seems pretty sealed off. Well... Free gun. <sighs> Let's keep moving. We've gotta go. Yeah. We've seen so many people. I don't know why these ones break my heart. What's heartbreaking is not giving yourself a chance. It's what Katya did. Jesus. I'm sorry, kid. She left me. A son. People that cared about us. I forgive well, her, but... Well, fairness, like, Duff was pretty far wrong. gone. You don't just end it, because it's hard. You stick it out, and you help the folks you care about. So let's figure a way out of here and get that little girl. We should move. Yeah. Got at least one shot left. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. Look at dead couple. Lee, you okay? Yeah. Let's keep at it. Bitter patter, let's get at her. Ooh, a medallion. What do you call this thing? Art? It's sick, but think of all the pain they avoided. Hard to believe the world once felt this peaceful. Hard to believe the cell shaded painting is hanging inside this cell shaded game. Judging by the decor of this room, I'd guess they were PBS watchers. Hey, my parents' house looked a lot like this. And they watch kung fu movies. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah, don't judge these very rich people by their very rich house. I guess Crawford would have gotten them anyway. Yeah, that's the other thing. Yeah, don't disparage the PBS either. Not like they're NPR nerds or something. Don't ask me how I'm doing. Let's just keep going. The streets are full. Hundreds of them. I'm not going out this window. Everyone's getting a little whispery, aren't they? Uh... Let those audio settings a little. Like we need a, a solid eight. That'll fix everything. House is full too. Stay quiet. Okay. <laughs> Looks like the balcony door could be it, team. Let's go, Lee. Let's make our dramatic exit. Do some roof jumping. Nice balcony. Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. These people have a lot of confidence in their jumping skills. Boy, why wouldn't you let someone else jump first so they can help Lee if necessary? Yeah, parkour really is playing into this more than you would expect. Hardcore parkour is not what I would have, would have anticipated coming into this part of the Walking Dead season. Let's keep going. Be careful up here. You be careful. Learn to here. climb yet, right? Okay. We move forward. By the way, thanks for joining me, not everyone. 
You're doing good. I'm not, but I'm trying, man. What happened? Honestly, you know how many nights Cat and I laid in that broke down RV? And she'd give me hell for not thinking enough about the rest of you. <laughs> All of them. Every damn night. You got that walkie-talkie? Yeah, of course I do. You might want to give him a call and tell him we're coming for him. Yeah, right. Ooh, Careful, roof cross bridge. here. Hope this isn't like the King's Quest 2 bridge. There are only so many crossings. Although I can't imagine it's going to go smoothly. Oh! Oh. River Guess Street's just up ahead. All right. <laughs> nope. Go follow that pit. Wow, darkness full of walkers. Fuck that shit. I don't see any down there. You can hear them, right? We're all desensitized to it, but I can still smell them. Let's keep going, you bunch of lollygaggers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Well, I'm so sorry. Come on, Kenny. Way to go. We have to get it back. That's our lifeline to her. But we can find this guy without it. And what if we don't? We need every clue that comes out of it. Lee's right. I am so fucking sorry. It's fine. Yeah, you should be. We just need to figure out who's going down there. No, we don't. Not it. Oh. Krista. Well, there you go. Jesus fucking Christ. I got it. Get me up. <laughs> Fuck. We can't reach. Find something fast. Lee, chop fast off your other arm. Good. Keep a fucking eye on her. Okay. Perfect. There's a pole here. I'll do the trick. Grab onto this. We'll pull you up. Good. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> oh man. The pole, Krista. Fuck! Jump up here, baby. Just pick it Let's up. Let's go. Jump. <sighs> Me and my fucking mouth. What are you doing? Get her, Ken. You said all that shit and not do something now. Come on, reach. I got you, hun. Save oh, wow. her. Go, go, go. Do you fucking hear me? Kenny last stand. Look at that. Get Kenny. Where are you? After him. We can't. We have to. Lee! Go! Oh, man. Where... Where'd he go? Maybe... Maybe he ran. Maybe, maybe the man's all right. Maybe Nick, I was resisting us. saying that. What if he doesn't? Glad you did, though. You. Oh my god, they killed Kenny. He... That classic South Park humor we all love. Oh, wow. I 
Oh, now I've picked Krista and Omid to be the last players standing here with Lee. <laughs> I know, it's been a rough, like, 12 hours, but saving up the Killing Kenny bit was worth it. The corner of the block. Are you okay? Do you want to talk? Kenny was my friend. Soon as someone dies, they don't immediately have to have their sins forgiven. Well, it gets an hour moratorium, at least. <laughs> I understand. This is a shitty time, but I want to make sure we're clear before we go forward. What is it? Now with Kenny, gone, means Omid and I have to stay safe. For her. You guys would be great for her. Keep her safe. <laughs> <laughs> we do our best. You know that. Are you okay? I should be asking you that. You know what I'm talking about. It's nothing. Kenny didn't die for her. It's nothing. Let's just keep moving. Mm -hmm. Oh man, if you could have gotten me on a drop off the Keeley. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. We've been masterful, Nick. I haven't been many keys first. in this game. You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg and you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hard. Decision doesn't make itself. I'll go first, in case anything happens out there. You sure? Yeah. Was he going to do an Assassin's Creed swan dive? Yeah, that's kind of been really subtly hinted at so far. That's the first time they've just out and said it, so. Just go nice and slow. You haven't missed too much on that. They just got to this final episode and they're like, what other stakes can we place on the table? Last episode, we got a dead dog in, on the action. It's an easy crossing. Good. What can we do next? Ah, oh no! Shit. Oh fuck! Shit! <laughs> Are you okay? Fine. I'm kind of fucked here. What are you yeah, gonna exactly. do? Yeah, it was. Fuck it. <laughs> they just ran out of additional heartstrings to pull. What does that mean? And pregnancy seemed like one that was left. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? But maybe you got to it fast enough. Maybe you'll be fine. I can't risk losing more time on a long shot. Find me when you get down. What the fuck does that mean? It means what it sounds like. Hotels around the corner. Find Clementine and me as soon as you can. You're crazy! There's no other way. All right, here we go. More parkour. Ooh, the old drain pop shimmy. It's a favorite. Hey, Slick Joe Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Lee isn't looking his best. He's had a rough go of it lately. Things aren't going great. And now he's getting like. Awesome Wild West music. Hello. Hey, zombie. Leave it to Cleaver. Doing great so far. It's really tearing things up. Whoa, man, we got the full head slice. <laughs> hey, thank you, Nick. I'll always take a bit for a dad joke. Dad jokes were roughly 75% of my entire 
being as a as a person now, so I am a living dad joke. Thank you, thank you for your cheer. Hey, Lee. It's like the classic telltale walk down a long hall moment. Build anticipation. Set up some sort of scary moment. Hmm, chairs. They seem to like sitting. Hmm. Hmm. Uh-oh. I got us adjoining rooms. Is that Anthony Perkins? Where is she? I already told you she's fine. You look horrible. And you're missing an arm. Yeah. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Shh. Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. Just be cool. Do I not seem cool? <laughs> that jacket's pretty cool. Not gonna lie. It had less blood Go. spatter on it. Go sit down. you don't now you're thinking who would have it out for me huh former student a few weeks back there might have been a station wagon in the forest oh. full of all sorts of food water things you need to survive yeah I'm not some cannibal Lee some killer out in the woods some Villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. I didn't take from you. Your people didn't? I didn't agree with it. That's what Clementine said. Why didn't you? It wasn't right. It wasn't our stuff. That's real good of you. <laughs> Look, what do you want me to say? I don't want you to say anything. I want you to know what happened. Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Oh, hmm. Yes, of course. Who? Clementine. The girl misses her parents. I'm not them. I hurt her. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her. So bad. Hey, LL. And then we came back, and all our stuff was gone. Your people, Lee. That asshole in the ball cap. 
his stupid fucking wife. I could have earned her trust back if they hadn't made our situation so desperate. Wow. I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. I like this confrontation. We didn't get far, I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? I mean, a little. We all do. Some more than others. I'm not like you. You killed a man with a pitchfork right in front of a little girl. Well, yes. I would do it differently if I could. Yeah, I do regret you that one. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. You weren't there. You brought her to the most dangerous place in this city where she could have died. I couldn't leave her at the house alone. She would have been better off. Could you know all this? I was there, Lee. I was there all along. You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. Just give me Clementine back. I'd rather kill her myself, because that's what will happen if she goes with you. This guy's a real jerk. After I found Clementine on my radio, I wasn't even mad at you. I was coming for the others, for revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. Oh. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. No, shut up. It makes sense. It's not happening. Let us go. No, no, I don't think so. You're going away, and we're starting a new family. Hey, Maybe season honey, two could be us co parenting class. This is all going to work out. What are you. Oh, no. I'm glad too. Oh boy. He's got a I wish head. I had to get this bad, but in the old it's bag. All over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. Yeah, the head in the bag really so works much, against Tess. the not a monster. Thing. You're going to like Clementine a lot though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> <laughs> Get wrecked. Oh, cute. I don't think I cued in time. Oh, man. Wow. It was intense. Hey, honey. I think <laughs> this is all going to work out. What are you... I'm glad too. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon. Let's do the cleaver. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss Please. you so much, Tess. You're going to like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> 
Nice closet. This is a seriously intense one. I'm queuing as hard as I can queue. Yeah, this scene's been pretty intense. It may be the highlight of the game for me so far, in some ways. Bitch! Just go away! The voice acting is really sad. Them did the thing. I, I, I. It's okay. It's okay. I. I your arm's gone. Why? That's so scary. I had an accident. Talk about it somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Oh, yeah, no. I know. Did he hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Cleo, it's okay. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. No, Tom, I don't think we've ever had a literal QTE. If only, though. He'll tell Dad too soon. Hey. You weren't afraid. Did you get that head bag? I was. You didn't act like it. I know. I am now. It's okay. way out through there nice closet The old zombie guts gambit. I've seen this one before. Alright, Clem. Turn the other way. Oh, no. How 100% sure are they that smearing zombie blood on themselves isn't going to infect them? I think they're very confident here with very little data. We'll get you cleaned up as soon as we can. Not soon enough. We'll get you cleaned up as soon oh. as we can. Not soon enough. Are you 
done? A little more. I want to be sure. Oh, man. I hate when it makes you repeat actions like this over and over. Just like, ah, you weirded out yet? Here's a little more, you sicko. <laughs> By the way, if you're just joining us, welcome. Things have gotten a little rough here at The Walking Dead. There. That should do it. I hope so. And you're missing something. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. <laughs> Thank you. Stay right next to me. Walk very slowly. Don't look around. And don't panic. Mm -hmm. I'll keep you safe. Oh man, I don't like where this is inevitably heading. Just walking around Savannah. Hey, stopping at some pralines. Some good old southern cuisine. Hey, some biscuits and gravy. Take a ghost tour. I bet those are less popular now after the zombie apocalypse, though. Maybe ride on a riverboat. Oh, all the boats are gone. I'm sorry. That was the whole point of the last three episodes. Oh no. Go, 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 go save Dot. Oh no. Did Clementine just see her parents? Oh no. This is going to be brutal. Lee, wake up. Please don't be dead. Please, no. Lee, I, I was so scared. I, I, I thought you left me. I, I, I saw my parents. I know. They didn't get to you, right? No. We got away. They're dead for sure. Oh, that's awful. Clementine, we have to get out of here as fast as we can. We can't. There's thousands of them outside. We have to. I'll protect you. We'll push no, through. No, no, that's crazy. I saved you. We're safe here. I locked us in. Get that door open. I can't. Do it! It was only a little open when I found it. I closed it to keep us safe. Pull on three. One, two, three. <laughs> See? Clementine, honey. My arm is gone because I cut it off. Why would you do that? Because I was bitten, Clem. Please, no. No. Th that's not true. Yes, it is. <sighs> I'm sorry, Clementine. I'm supposed to take care of you. I can't now. I know. Oh, man. I... I think there might be a way out over there. Good. Good girl. Let's go. I might be... 
be a little slow. As I shamble around. Oh man, I have a feeling. <laughs> I may bring the waterworks here as this draws to a close. It's gonna be a while before I can jump into season two. Me if you have to. I'm okay. I'm okay. I thought I was helping by bringing you in here. Oh, you did, honey. It's awful out there. Only they wanted to shoot me up. It was hard. I don't know how you did it, but you did good. Okay? Keep going. We're almost there. Yeah. This has been emotionally draining. Ooh. Get up, Lee. The door is right here. Oh man, well, it's a quick time event to stand up. I can't. Things have gotten you have bad. To. Them, I can't move. This is it for me here. Please, please try to get up. I can't. You don't have much time. You gotta do something fast. Like what? You're gonna have to make sure I don't turn. You won't, though. Clem, I will. You know what you have to do. No, I can't. There's no way. We'll figure it all out. Don't worry. There's a chair over there. We'll get you in there. Don't worry. We're doing good. There's a baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that. Use the bat to shatter that window so you can reach in, okay? Okay. Watch out for broken grass. <laughs> Good job. Don't be afraid of him, honey. You're smart. Yes, it. You're smarter than all of them. And don't be scared of the walker. You'll be fine. The way out's through there, Clem. I know. There's a chair over there. Grab the chair, Clem. Use it to reach in to the lock. Oh, this is just awful. Open it. He's, he's trapped. This will be easy then. He's got keys. Probably to that door. And everything you'll need. on the ground. Get them. Okay, me. You're doing really good. Put the handcuffs on me. Attach me to this. What? Why? No matter what happens, you're safe then. Uh, I don't know. Just do it, sweetie. Make sure they're tight. I don't... I don't want to do this. You have to. It'll keep you safe. You only have to deal with him. Oh my goodness. Oh, over there. If you're careful, you can get what you need from it. 
the keys and then the gun. The keys and the gun. Just don't be afraid. If anything gets dangerous, you're faster than he is. What should I get first? The keys. In case you have to make a run for it. Wish I could be providing better commentary here, but I'm full of the feels. Oh no. Get him! Get him! No, 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 no. Don't show it. Just cut to the game over. Oh wait, there's still some, oh. No! Oh no. Hey, that was terrible. What should I get first? Get the gun, Clem. Always the gun. Well, that didn't go great. Watch out! Oh no. The bat, Clem! Get the bat! Yeesh, yeah. Yeesh, indeed. I got him. Great, Tim. Good job. <laughs> hey. You're strong, Clip. You... You can do anything. But I'm little. Doesn't mean nothing. You go see bad stuff, but... It's okay. My parents... It's so horrible. I, I can't imagine, sweet pea. And now... You... Please... Please don't be one of them. Please don't become a walker. There's only one thing you can do. You know that. I don't know if I can. You have to shoot me, honey. Lee, no. It's okay. It's okay. And Megan, first days we met. Do you remember? Yeah, I do. When I went out to rescue that boy, Glenn, met a girl. She'd been bitten too. All she wanted was to not come back as a walker. Lee? And I remember how hard it was to do that. But I'm glad I did. You don't want to see me like one of them. Okay, Lee. I can do it. I, I can. Oh my goodness. I don't need it, Krista. Probably looking for us right now. Stay on high ground. Don't go too far. You'll find them. They'll take good care of you. <laughs> and Clem. <laughs> and always keep moving. You're gonna want to find some place like the motor in. That's just not safe. Why not? Those places are just targets. Move as much as you can. And also... What? What is it? No, don't worry. It's you. Meat. 
too. Oh, wow. Hey, Metali. Yeah, you got here just in time. Oh, goodness. Oh. <laughs> oh, I hate it. Ah! Yeah, tears over here, too, obviously. Oh, man. I mean... I felt like I knew that was where I was going for a while now, but still... Oh, goodness. Oh, that was intense. Woo! Oh, well, I'm glad I played through it, finally. <laughs> you know, I've been... I played the first episode ages ago and never got around to to finishing the rest. And I'm glad I finally came back to it. I mean, it's... Uh, there's obviously a reason it was such a smash hit. And, well, I think maybe some of Telltale's later games got the narrative elements down a bit better. This one definitely, this one definitely pulls at the old heartstrings in about every way possible. Um, I mean, I don't think you have to be a dad to uh, to appreciate some of the story, but certainly as a dad, it, it's extra hard. Oh my goodness! Seventy one percent of players removed the arm. Seventy four percent of players lost your temper with Kenny. Fifty nine percent surrendered your weapons. Fifty seven percent didn't kill the stranger. And 63% of players made sure Lee didn't turn. Wow, so I'm in the majority on all of those choices. But, no, this was uh, this was worth it. This was a good play. You know, I'm, again, it was it was a little emotionally exhausting. Like, I had moments when I've been streaming this, it's just like, oh, do I have it in me to, to jump back into that game? You know, like, am I emotionally prepared uh, for the misery train to start rolling out again? <laughs> All right. You defended Ben when he was accused of stealing. You stood up for Ben. You dropped Ben from the bell tower. Whoops. Oh, man. You let him be your sidekick and solve a mystery. Good for Duck. Mm, this has the distinct sound of something that may, may be copyrighted. I don't know. Who's to say? Yeah, maybe we'll just pop out of there before I get a, uh, that'd be a bad way to end this with a DMCA claim. Uh, <laughs> but thank you all so much for joining me tonight. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for being an emotional support group as I work my way through this, this difficult game. Uh, not difficult in the sense it was mostly just dialogue trees, but difficult uh in terms of uh in terms of the old emotional roller coaster so i'm glad you could be here um my next game up i'm going to be playing uh i think monday night i'm going to start resident evil village so we'll keep with the spooky theme we'll get some of that october vibe going on uh <laughs> yeah tom i don't know if throwing in a zombie crow would have been would have made any better but before we call it a night let's see if there's someone we can raid over and say howdy to how about our pal bogus meat factory bogus is playing shadows of Serbius, the uh the online uh rpg that uh from way back in the day thank you all so much for watching along thanks for joining me thanks for hanging out i'm starting that raid now hope to see you on the other side in the meantime take care i'll probably be back sunday night no way let me Probably Monday night, as I said, with Resident Evil Village. Hope to see you then. Take care, everyone. And I will just find my stream ending button. And I'll see you on the other side of the raid.